Hey guys, I hope that I am in a good view. So this is 10 traveling tips when you're traveling on a plane with your children. This specific piece of paper was written three months ago when we were last on an airplane. And I put it on my bulletin board to do a video on this and I forgot all about it. So it has been up there for three months. Talk about efficient organization. Um, but <laughs> Drake pulled out the pen and there's a few pieces of paper in front of it. It fell out and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about this. So this is a video that I think might help somebody. I'm going to talk about a few different things. Um, let's see here. All right, so let's just gauge, gauge. I just stopped this video. I tried to do it a second ago. And before I could even get started, the dogs were being too noisy and I was doing it again. So I'm just going to let it be. It's either kids or dogs, right? All right, so I'm going to start. Let's. I'm going to actually just start like going to the airport. Um, the first, the first thing that I can suggest is bringing empty water bottles. Now this is good for um, if you have kids or you don't have kids. Now if you have kids, you can throw through security with a water bottle that is filled with water. They just wave this little thing above it and um, it, you know, you put the lid back on and you go on your way unless you're carrying something explosive, I assume. So, um, but empty water bottles, you don't have to worry about it. And then once you get through security, you just fill it up in the water fountain and you saved yourself $6 on a bottle of water. So um, that is a suggestion that I have that I think is fantastic. Um, carriers, I highly recommend a carrier. I personally prefer to be kind of like almost in a way like hands free when traveling. This when I was traveling here, I had a four year old and a two year old and I would wear the two-year-old. I would have my purse and then a bag with like all of you know our stuff like a carry-in bag and you know with their blankets and then their sweatshirts because we were traveling from hot to cold and, and stuff like that and then um, my four-year-old you know I could he could hold my other hand so I was sort of you know if I put the bags up relatively hands-free I don't strollers can be nice because you can just put everything in them and go but they can also be a pain because they can just be a pain. You have to gate check it and then there's a 50-50 chance that they're not going to break it or that they're going to break it. You know you know what I mean. So um, yeah, I would highly recommend a carrier. I love the Ergo. They don't make you take the child off right now. That changes pretty much every time I fly. So you never know what you're going to get. As far as comfies go, I would definitely recommend bringing a blanket just because their blankets kind of suck. And it's nice to have your own blanket, but you want to keep them light. So like a baby blanket is the perfect type of a blanket to bring. Um, plus they get heavy. Now something that, um, let's see here. All right, here's a few other things. Before you board, I'm going to talk about a few other things. Um, change or use the bathroom before you get on the plane. Don't try to do it on the plane. Just get them all done and situated before. Um, I think that that is, is very helpful personally. Um, get something to eat before you board the plane so that when you're on the plane you have about 15 minutes of that flight which doesn't seem like a lot but if you carve out you know five minutes before preparing to set up your meal and then eating slowly and then cleaning it up like you know you just you just burn 25 minutes of your flight so don't eat breakfast or lunch or dinner before you board the plane eat when you're on the plane and that helps up that helps you know eat up some of the time so um i would highly recommend getting food before and then eating on the plane. So, um, so just get it to go. Let's see here. Um, my mom, mom, wait to board. If you have assigned seats, do not board with the family boarding. I know that it can be great. And if you're flying like Southwest Airlines when it's open seating, um, yeah, you might want to definitely board, you know, earlier, depending on how full the flight is. But if you have assigned seats, wait, I like to be the absolute last person on the plane. Why? Because why would I want to sit on the plane for an extra 30 minutes with my kids while they're getting restless before everybody else is even on the plane? Like, no, thank you. I'd rather them be kind of like running around or watching airplanes or just doing something besides sitting in this tiny little confines of our row when we don't have to be. So that is my own personal preference. Um, I will never board the plane unless it's time or I need to find a seat. So, um, yeah, that is, that's one of my suggestions when you're on the plane. I've never drugged my children on the plane and Deacon has flown when we were doing the milk, when I was donating the milk to Candace, um, and I'll, if I remember, I'll post a video about that in the description box. 
but he flew 30 some odd times. There's 30 flights. So I feel like I'm relatively experienced with flying with a child who is under the age of two. And then Drake's flown, I don't know, I think we've had like four trips. So maybe, you know, there's layovers, multiple planes and things like that. So he's flown at least, I would say 15 times. Um, so, and I've never once drugged my children and only once, one time out of all of that did we have a rough flight where Deacon was unconsolable and it was because he was teething and it was actually kind of a bad situation. We'd already been on two planes for a total of eight hours. We never got off the plane but it had touched down and then we landed. We were supposed to have one more leg with that flight but we got stuck, we got landed and then had to fly had to switch planes because there's something wrong with the plane we've been on anyways. That, that third flight, he was just done. And his teeth were hurting, he was just a mess. So, um, that was the only time. Now, in that case, if all the stuff that you have isn't working, ask the stewardess for maybe like an ice rattle and you can get a cup and they'll put ice in it with a lid and like kind of shake it just to distract him. I mean, that kind of helps. Again, you could go like the, the bribery route, you know, see if there's something that food wise you can buy him or maybe get an apple juice or just something um, to help distract him. So that's, that seems to help a little bit. Now, as far as like bribing goes, I'm not above bringing lollipops and gum, which serves, you know, dual purposes. So do the suckers for, you know, helping the pressure in your ears, popping the ears, cookies, um, light stuff, just something where it's like, Hey, look what I have. And like, it's a big treat. It's a big deal. So that seems to help. And then my last probably my last suggestion are toys, but hang on one second, let me make sure I have all of this. Yeah, toys. Okay. So you want to pack light because who wants to be carrying around 30 pounds of books on your shoulder or on top of your purse and your child and you know, whatever else you may have. Um, but toys, you want to pack light, but you want to pack a variety because you can only do so much for so long. Now girls, I know girls can sit there and color for hours, but I have two boys who can sit there and color for three seconds before they're like trying to color on the tray or the seat behind them or whatever it may be. Um, but with that, bring a coloring book or paper or whatever your child prefers and don't bring a lot because they're heavy and they don't need a lot. Maybe bring crayons and markers and colored pencils or something like that. Something to kind of like give them the variety in that. Um, if you're flying with an infant, toys that have lots of like pieces and things going on are nice because you can just kind of turn it over and you just have one toy, you know? So like the plush ones, I'd, I'd recommend that. Favorite toys are fantastic. However, don't bring anything that's like super squeaky like Sophie the Giraffe. Like don't bring Sophie on a plane. Your neighbors will hate you. Um, Things like that. Now, um, iPods, an iPhone, an iPad, those are obvious, like, yes, bring those if you have them. A laptop is great. I love putting a movie in for the kids. That seems to be our go-to right now, is just sticking a movie in the last flight, this flight, actually, when I was riding this, Wreck-It Ralph was playing, and there happened to be a wrestling team sitting all the rows behind us, and when we got up, they are like, hey, thanks for letting us watch your movie. So it entertained my preschooler, my toddler, and the high school kids behind us, you know, all at the same time. So um, that's clearly like an easy one. Books are great, but heavy, so, you know, be easy. Just bring a book if you want to bring a book. Um, you know, if you have a small puzzle, just things like that. So variety, whatever your child likes. Hopefully some of these tips helped you guys in one way or another. Um, I feel like I do have enough experience to be able to share some of the things that I've learned, but um, if you have any great tips, please leave them below. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, car seats can be checked for free and, oh, that just broke my nail. Um, so that's always nice. I usually, I bought those bags from, what are they? From Southwest. The, the big zipper, like nylon bags. So that kind of helps a little bit. Um, I don't like dragging them through the airport. I don't love checking them either. But if I had to, which I try not to, then that is what I do. If you have a stroller, it's always, it can be nice to throw your things in. But then you're, you're responsible for that much more space like when you're moving around the airport and things like that but it can be nice to kind of tie your child down if you have a runner which is why I carry him but if say you know Deacon my four-year-old was a runner then I'd want him in the stroller just for just for ease um yep I think that's it so if you guys have any other questions let me know otherwise I'll talk to you guys later bye